Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this time around it is the Box of Dread for September. Um, this is another situation much like the BAM box had where hurricanes caused delay with items and shipping overall, so that happened to everyone with shipping stuff, so it's a little late, it's like close to halfway through October at this point for the September box, but not their fault, couldn't really be helped, but uh, they've made uh, a lot of uh, comments on their social media and they had sent a letter in one of the boxes I think it was the last box actually or maybe the one before that it was the one before that about changes that they want to start making so they're gonna be gradual so I think I think maybe this box is the one where they're starting to do more changes uh, it's either this one or the next one but we'll find that out so I already took the my address off here so I don't accidentally flash the address to anyone but trust me, this is the BAM box, or uh, not BAM box, this is Box of Dread. The tape is seeming like it's harder to open, or to cut this time around. There we go. So the last one, I wasn't like feeling a ton, but that's not that big of a deal, because to reiterate, this is a $14 box with $6 shipping, so 20 bucks overall so it's pretty cheap so as long as you have like something in it that you're excited about which on the last one uh that losers club it uh drinking glass i like that a lot i still like it a lot and i'm going to be using it I've, I've already actually i already started <laughs> using it so yeah it was a good one so let's pop this sucker open and see what we get there's something very large in here oh oh this is interesting okay so they're doing their own box of dread box. Oh, okay, so literally that's okay. So like double protection. Um, I dig that, especially if they have something like a Funko Pop in here, that would be great. And of course, my cat needs to check out the box because it's on the floor and it's a box. But as you can see, now they're doing their own box, their own box of dread box. I really like their logo. It's a sweet ass logo. All right. So let's do this. I hope there's not just another big but smaller box in here. That would kind of suck. I do feel maybe some card packs in here, like or a card pack. Not really big on that, but eh, maybe that's not what it is. We'll see. I'll pull that out first, actually. It feels like there's a decent amount of stuff in here, though. Yes, some cards. Oh, Tales of Halloween cards. Um, I can take them out of here just to... Uh in case people want to see it so I believe that that's most likely based off the movie Tales of Halloween which I have not seen yet but it is currently on Netflix streaming if anyone subscribes to that um, I, I've had it sitting in my uh, in my streaming queue but I just haven't gotten to it yet so yeah that's what it looks like it is it's just you know some people from it slash characters from Tales of Halloween I'm interested to watch that. Definitely interested to watch it. Card stuff, not really big on cards unless it's something that I think is like super cool, but typically I'm not even gonna do anything with that. So that's kind of like a throwaway item to me. I just honestly just be like, just leave it out of, you know, whatever. So I think I do feel a Funko um, pop pen or pencil. Um, oh, it's a pen, yeah. And I really like these things. My wife actually, for our anniversary recently got me a bunch of them because she goes by the whole like traditional thing of you either get copper or you get a desk set like the traditional or the modern so it was copper and desk set I got her something copper she got me a little something copper and then she got me what she deemed to be the desk set which was a set of Funko horror uh, pens pop pens which was really cool so hopefully I don't have this one already although I may very well Yes, I do, actually. This is one of the ones she gave me, which at first I looked at it, I'm like, it's kind of weird looking, but actually the more I look at it, I'm like, it's actually really cool because it's like, looks a lot like the character, but is also cute at the same time, which is an odd thing for this character. So obviously it's Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and then it's got, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre on there. Oh, let me show it to you that way. Texas Chainsaw Massacre on there, and da-da, it's a pen. These are a little heavy, though. That's something she pointed out to me when she gave them all to me. She's like, 
feel like if you kept writing with this for an extended period of time, it would really make your hand tired. I agree with that. But I think these things are really cool, especially for displaying, like, at my office, if I just have, like, you know, a mug or, like, a pe pencil or pen holder, and you just, like, put a bunch of them in there, they display pretty well. I like that item. I'm down with that. Fan. What is this? Oh, snap. This is cool, too. I like this quite a bit. So here's a pop keychain, pocket pop keychain, and it is Zombie Kenny from South Park. That's awesome. I actually don't think I have any Zombie Kenny stuff or any Kenny stuff from South Park. I really like South Park. Um, that's cool. Check that out. Looks really good. I might have to, I currently have a Xenomorph one, which I think I, oh, I got from, um, what's it called? A uh, big old box of stuff had sent me one of these, but it was Xenomorph from Alien. Um, so maybe I'll switch this out with my Xenomorph, and then I'll just kind of like maybe week to week or month to month switch between them. So that's a good item too. I like that. Next one seems like maybe it's like a blind bag thing. Maybe it's like one of those pint-sized heroes or something. It is. It's the pint-sized heroes horror, which is cool. Um... I guess we'll just do this one right now. Um, so I thought about buying these because if people have watched enough of my videos, they'll know that I did like the uh, the Hor Funko Horror Mystery Minis. I really like those. I also like the pint size things that they put out, and I had bought some of the um, sci-fi ones because there's plenty of horror stuff in the sci-fi. I got some really good ones out of there, like the Invisible Predator, um, the guy from Alien with a face hugger actually on him. Um, the guy from Mars Attacks, like cool stuff like that. But when I saw what the actual options were for this horror line of Pint Size Heroes, I was like, a lot of it overlaps with the uh, Funko Myst Horror Mystery Minis. So I kind of didn't feel a need to get it. But I am happy that I got this, so that way I get something. But you can see they do have some different ones. Like they have a Michael Myers, they have a Chucky, they have a, a Carrie. Um, some of these are the same though, like Stripe. Uh, Pinhead, Cthulhu, who's that? Elvira, that's the same. Beetlejuice is the same. Jason Voorhees, um, Freddy Krueger, the same, the same, the same. It was, I know, in like the first series of the mystery minis, but a lot of these things overlap, which is kind of what I was like, there's a ton of horror properties out of there. You could have done all new stuff with this. So I was just a little let down by Funko on that. But let's see what we got. I don't know what this feels like. It feels like something that has, like... I'm just keeping it in there. Something that has hair. It might be Beetlejuice. Oh, no! Oh, snap. How timely. Oh, and he looks really cool. Um, Pennywise. Pennywise the Clown from It. This one looks nice. I like this. Who is this Pennywise? Look at him. He looks really good. And his hair is huge. Tons of texture to his hair. Yeah, the paint job on that's really nice. Like, really good design. He looks cool. I'm going to take him to work. That's awesome. Like it. Uh, feels like there's a poster of sorts. Usually they do a good job with their posters, but I'm just not probably not going to do anything with posters. So it's kind of another throwaway type thing for me. Oh, no interest in this one actually. This is more of like an ad type deal. It's for a Netflix movie called Gerald's Game. There you go, Gerald's Game, and there's nothing very horror looking going on right there so I don't like this item it's also this is pretty messed up it's like really folded up if you can see like how folded it is it's like real beat up that's what happens when you try and ship things like this I think but not into that that goes in the category of like those cards just not a big fan I think there's an actual like pop in here which I want to leave that for last because there's it feels like there's a DVD in here. There's a lot of stuff in this, which is probably like the most ever. All cheerleaders die. Actually, you know what's really funny about this is I this is a movie that I've had in my Netflix queue for some time, and have obviously because it's been in my Netflix queue been planning on getting to it. Um, so this is cool. Now I own it. Now I'm happier because I actually think that it cycled off of streaming not too long ago. So. Now I can actually watch it. So it's all cheerleaders die. It says you can't kill their spirit. A smartly bloody horror comedy. I love horror comedies, especially when they're done well. 
Um, yeah. Do I read the synopsis? I'm not going to read the synopsis of it. People can just look at IMDb and all that. But excited about that. I always like getting DVDs, especially stuff that I've not seen before. Uh, I'm down. I know DVDs are, like, cheap now, which is why they're perfect for a box like this. And I'm good with that. Like, I'm totally cool to get that. All right, so I think the last thing I have in here is an actual pop. This is, a, like I said, this is a lot of stuff, especially for 20 bucks total. Oh, this is cool. Oh, my God. Although this box is jacked up. That's okay, though. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't really... I mean, I do collect them and keep them in the box, but some damage isn't, like, a huge deal to me. Um, there's a little something weird on there. So this is uh, this is Carrie. It's a pop from Carrie. Let's see if I can get some good lighting. It's pretty awesome. Look at this. She's got the blood on her head and everything. You can see the like the damage down here on the corners like got smashed in, but from Carrie. Yeah, and it's a standalone series for Carrie. That's good. That's cool. Um looks really good. I like that a lot actually. And I assume they just have like a little piece of paper in here. So they had a curator for Box of Dread. Lucky McKee, actually. Um, what a great delight to be the first curator for Box of Dread. When John put this task before me, we landed on the theme of back to school. So it's a theme. Oh, it's a themed one of back to school. Okay, I see, I see the school themes, except for the the pint size heroes. Not I don't really understand that, but the rest of it fits. I mean that's cool though. But still, I, I mean I'm not you know. Yeah, so he just goes on to talk about it. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, so this is the guy, Lucky McKee. He was the curator for this box, which is cool. I like that idea of like doing a theme but not telling people ahead of time. And then after everyone's pulled it out and been like, okay, so there was a theme to this and this is what the theme is. And then you can think about it and be like, oh, you know, I like the way that theme played out or I didn't like the way it played out. I think it was a good idea on the theme. This is a really nice box, actually. Um, this has got to be one of my favorite Box of Dreads. So last month's was one of my least favorite, actually, except for that glass I didn't really like much. Oh, and the pin, the Scream pin. Uh, Stephen King rules everything around me. Um, so those two items, which, by the way, like like I was saying, like if you just get like one or two items out of the box that you actually like, it's definitely worth it because it's only 20 bucks total. So, um but that was probably one of my least favorite boxes for uh, August. But the September one has got to be one of my favorites, hands down. Like, the pop is really nice. Excited about this DVD. Always excited to get them, especially I wanted to see this movie. The Pint Size Heroes. Oh, whoops. Plus, I got a, a really cool one. The the uh, Pocket... Um, I'm sorry. The Pocket Keychain of you know, Zombie Kenny. The, you know... Texas Chainsaw Massacre pop pen and the only things I didn't really care for were the cards and the poster but that's not a big deal like those are just kind of throwaway items that aren't the meat of it I mean these I mean one two three four there's five items in here that I really liked that's great that's awesome so Box of Dread you guys are doing an awesome job and I know John you're the mastermind behind a lot of this I know you've taken on some other help but you're killing it, man. Doing a really good job with this. And uh, this is one of the best ones yet. I love it. Keep it going. If these are the changes you're making, I'm totally for these changes. It's cool. Plus, this box looks really good, by the way. It reminds me a little bit of bo uh, Horror Block when it was around, which that was a terrible box, but I like this much more. Anyway, thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Um, uh, by the way, if you have any ideas for videos you want to see me do, uh, just shoot me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com, and brutal spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L, because that's to do with the beer podcast I do, called Brutal Battle. So you can check that out, too, if you want to. But ideas for other videos, if you want me to start doing reviews on horror films, I could certainly do that kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't ne necessarily have to be horror, though. Uh, I did a few reviews on comic books. I think I'll still do some more. Just really anything you think of, if you really want to see it, let me know. Anyways, thanks again for watching this, and until next time, keep it brutal.